Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, here is today is gonna be episode two of our Make an RPG series. Um, I'm gonna continue character class creation, and uh, I I found a mistake in the code that I oh, in the first video. And I just want to go back and fix it real fast. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our Mage class and our Warrior class real quick and Mono develop and um, I need to go in here and in, in, and and uh, where this says void, we're gonna erase void. We're gonna write base. It needs to be the same as the class type to call it in a function later on. So we did that for warrior. I'm gonna go back. Hopefully, open mage script and do the same thing. Oh, it opened up in a new model develop. That's annoying. So we're gonna go here and again. We're gonna erase void and we're gonna write base. That's all. And uh, so this should work now. Okay. Simple fix. Made an error. It's all right. So the next thing we're going to do is, I told you guys I wanted to show you how to access these um, classes. Now what, we're, what I'm going to do is create a very simple GUI uh, layout. And so I'm just going to call it test GUI. And um, we're going to open that up in mono develop. And uh, we're going to keep mono behavior. And we're going to keep, we'll keep start and um, uh, update for now. But what we're, we're going to do is go in here and we're going to write void on GUI parentheses and our, then our brackets and we're going to um, go back up to the top we're going to create two private variables and it's going to be uh, base class character class excuse me and it's going to be class 1 I'll call it class 1 and then we're going to set that equal to a new base mage class and then we're going to go private base character class again class 2 and we're going to set that to a new base warrior class. Okay. So this is what this is going to do is allow us to access what's in. This is going to allow us to access. Class 1 is going to allow us to access what's in our base mage class. Which is what's in our base character class. So we're going to go down to on GUI. And we're going to do GUI layout dot label. And here we just need content. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab class 1. And we're going to do, let's get the name first, do our name, and then colon, semicolon. And we're going to do GUI layout again, dot label, we we'll grab label. And then we're going to do, if I can type, then we're going to do class one. And we're going to get our description. So then I'm going to hold shift, I'm going to use arrow keys, and I'm going to go up and uh, grab these two, control C to copy come down here hit enter and we're gonna go in and we're gonna uh, change it from class 1 to class 2 so what this will do is when I press play in mono, uh, control C to save I'm gonna go back to unity and I'm gonna drag this script and I'm gonna put it on my drag the script and I'm gonna put it on my camera oh, that's not going there we go so the script is now attached to our main camera I'm gonna press play and it should load up here we go so right away you can see we have uh, our one class class one is mage it's a wise wizard that can cast spells and we have a warrior a strong and powerful hero now you can keep going deeper and deeper so we can go back here I'm going to uh, copy and paste this again copy I'm gonna go in and paste and we can change uh, what was the other we had a um, let's look we can go down we can see we can get the description the class name, we can get all of its different stats. So let's say this is the mage, let's get our intellect value. We want to see that. And we're going to come down here. And since this is our warrior, we're going to go in here and we're going to grab the class two. We're going to grab our strength. Now I'm going to go. Oh, now these are, um, real quick, these are number values. Uh, number values. They are not strings. Like, like uh, these are not strings intellect and strength are not strings like our name and description so what we need to do you can do this one of two ways you can either do um, dot and then two string string parentheses or you should be able to typecast it or you can go string either way works and what it does is basically converts the integer the int to a string so that it can read out in uh, you uh, excuse me Oh, you cannot typecast that. 
So that's okay. To fix that, I thought you could. To fix that, you can go to string parentheses, and that will create it. That will make it a string. Let's just say uh, C sharp um, function that's uh, built in so that you can change anything to a string basically but here we go so we have our mage we have a wise wizard cast spells and its intellect is 15 a warrior a strong powerful and 14 now you might be wondering why this is important or what's why is there why would you even cover this well uh, if you've played any video games I'm sure most of you have you would when at the beginning you can create your character and usually when you when you create your character you can select kind of um, you can select uh, the class you want to start out with, start out and play. So what you can do with this idea is, after you created all your character classes here in our character classes folder, say you wanted to add 40, I don't know, however many you want, you can come up with, you can add them all in here, and then in your GUI, or like your character creation GUI, you can call it, you can say uh, you can display all of them, or have them attached to a toggle switch. So when you hit the toggle switch, it shows okay, this class is, it does this, this, and this. And that's basically what I wanted to show in this video. And um, if you guys have any questions, if I've missed anything, or you want me to talk about anything else, feel free to leave a comment uh, and ask. And if you like this video, you found it helpful, you look forward to uh, my new videos, please uh, hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon.